Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching VectorArt. So in today's video, we will create this beautiful looking uh, animation in WPF using storyboards. And um, you will also find this source code in the description, so do check it out. So let's start by creating a new project. Uh, let's select uh, C Sharp as a language, platform as Windows and uh, a project type as desktop you can also find uh, it in your recent templates if you have worked on it before so here we'll give this project a name uh, while it is creating uh, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel it means a lot so moving ahead uh, we have our window so let's go ahead and add a user control to our project And let's click on add. Let's resize this uh, user control. Change its height and width to 200 and 300. And then let's start designing our uh, UI. So let's start by adding buttons. So here I am adding a regular button. Uh, and I'll change the border brush to white and the background to orange. I'll also go ahead and remove the content. I have a button of uh, 50 by 50 pixels uh, width and height. I'll copy this uh, multiple times, three times to be exact, and I'll place it next to each other. I will also go ahead and change the color of each of the uh, boxes to change the uh, icon or uh, to match the icons uh, of the uh, companies. So uh, the background color is set. Now let's go and right click and edit template, edit a copy and give this copy a name template a name and remove the content presenter and inside our border we will add an image so i will add an image here and for that image i will set a source also before that let's set the width and height to 30 and ensure it is at the center and then select one of the icons these icons i have downloaded from icons8.com uh, the link is in the description uh, so let's go back to the designer and do the same for all the four buttons. So same process, edit a template and edit a copy always. Don't edit a current. So if you edit current, uh, then the same style will be applied to all the three or, or all the four buttons. So make sure you make a copy. Uh, I have speed up the process a little uh, so that we do not have to wait. And this is our last button for which we are setting the width and height and uh, the source so let's go back to the window let's select all these buttons and place it at the center now we need one more button and that is the close button so let's add a small button here do the same process that we did for all the other buttons remove the content uh, remove the uh, border brush and change the color edit template edit a copy and remove the content presenter and inside the border let's add our image change the width and height and change the source so we have a button one more thing that we have to do is change the corner radius of the border so that we have a rounded button so now we can go back to our window and we can place this button close button uh, on top of the four buttons or overlap it basically so that is done so next let's move to the next part and that will be the starting point of our animation so this is the ending point of our animation that I've designed right now so let's start the, uh, making changes so that we uh, move to the start point so before that let me add a rectangle at the background uh, so that when we move these uh, buttons around uh, the background is white so I'll move this uh, rectangle newly rectangle on the top so that it is 
behind all these buttons and now I will select the rest of the content and move it outside the rectangle and you will soon know what will happen so what I am trying to achieve is when I click on the share button which I have not created yet all these buttons will move inside the rectangle and when I close the uh, click on the close button uh, all these uh, rectangle uh, buttons will move out I have uh, accidentally created another button let me delete this and now we have our um, start uh, position ready so I have hidden the rest of the buttons and I will make a copy of this uh, close button which uh, I will create uh, the uh, or which I will use to create the share button so let me rename it and rename all the buttons that we have make this visible and uh, just I'm making it visible so that I can easily name them uh, well, for the first one it will be email the second uh, will be Twitter third is Facebook and last one is Google and the button that I copied uh, last that would be the button share um, I will have to do the same process that we did for all the four buttons before that let me hide the uh, social media buttons and let's select the share button edit a template edit a copy let's give it a name and uh, remove the uh, change the image source to share and let's go back to the window Uh, before that yeah, let's go back to the window uh, let's select the button and increase its size to say 50 points okay so we have everything in ready this is a start screen from where our animation will begin so when I uh, let's add a storyboard now click on OK so let's uh, add a keyframe for all the uh, elements and on the first keyframe let's make the button email visible and on the second let's uh, move this button email inside so now uh, on the existing keyframe uh, let's add one let's make the second uh, Twitter button visible and then on the next one move the Twitter in so we have to follow the same pattern so on the existing keyframe now I will enable or be, may basically make the uh, Facebook button visible and then on the next one move it in and the same on the existing one let's uh, make the Google button visible and uh, on the next move it inside and last but not least uh, I have to hide the share button and make the close button visible so on this last keyframe uh, let's run this once and on the, uh, the second last keyframe let's decrease the size of the uh, share button and on the last one hide it and for the close just let's just uh, make it visible on the last keyframe so here we have a beautiful looking animation this is our storyboard one so now we have to design our storyboard two which will be uh, what happens when we close uh, click on the close button so when we click on the close button it should go back to the start uh, screen so so this is our storyboard 2 so we have to um, start from where we left off in the uh, storyboard 1 so in our storyboard 1 uh, the button share was hidden at the end uh, at the end and um, the button close was visible and uh, the social media buttons were all visible and they all were inside the rectangle
Okay. Um, okay. So let's run this once and see how it looks. Okay, I see some glitches. So let me move these keyframes for the social media buttons uh, inside so that they are visible from the start. Yeah, and I can see that the close button is also not uh, working as expected. So let me try to make changes to the keyframe alignment or the positions. Uh, I still have the same uh, problem. Let me delete these keyframes and start from scratch. So let me uh, make this close button visible from the start and uh, uh, make the share button hidden from the start. Uh, I also I will change the size of the uh, share button uh, to what was in the storyboard one. So let me resize it and also hide it. So this was the uh, last frame of the first storyboard. So all is set. Now we start um, the storyboard two um, by moving all these uh, buttons outside of the rectangle. So first goes our uh, Google button because that was the last button to go in inside the first storyboard. And the same goes for fa Facebook button goes next and on the next one it becomes hidden. And then Twitter and then it becomes hidden. So in the first storyboard you saw that it went uh, it was visible first and then it went inside the rectangle. So here it is the opposite. So last but not least the close button I have to hide it on the second last keyframe. sorry the share button uh, I have to make it visible in the second last keyframe and on the last one I have to increase its size back to how it was in the first storyboard. I'm a little unsure of the size of this share button let me correct it later but on the last keyframe we should also hide the close button. So let's go back to the storyboard one and see the size of the share button. Uh, let me stop the storyboard uh, and go to the button share and see its size and then go back to the storyboard 2 and uh, on the last keyframe um, let's see what size we have. We have, point, uh, we have 60 points so it should be 50 yeah, so now it is the perfect size. So we have our storyboard one and storyboard two ready. Now all we have to do is add triggers. Uh, so we all know that um, we cannot have, we have uh, the triggers panel missing. Uh, so we'll have to do it via the code. So let's add a user control dot triggers under the user control dot resources. And inside that we will add event triggers and add a routed event. Uh, I will name this routed event button base dot click and let's set the source name as btn share. So this is the share button that it will uh, trigger this event and the event will be to trigger the storyboard. So on click of button share I will begin this uh, storyboard. So the storyboard is a static resource uh, storyboard one. Let me remove this uh, equals and let's close this. So let's copy this code and paste it and this time it will be the button close. So on click of button close I will trigger the storyboard too. So our triggers are also ready. Now the last thing that we have to do is uh, include this user, cust uh, user control in our window. So make sure we have our local namespace uh, uh, set and then add this code. Also set the width and height uh, same as the user control so that uh, things do not uh, go out of place. So our last thing that I did is change the color of the background of our main window. You, to remove this uh, toolbar uh, just go uh, to the live visual tree and disable it and here we have our beautiful looking animation. You can include it uh, in your uh, UI as a user control. 
सो होप यू आर लाइक वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल टिल देन बाय